Yeah, moon, moon does back in the meta, dude. Well, actually, I don't know. I've heard from some people. I mean, every time a champion gets reworked, I either hear he's really, really OP, or I hear he's really, really bad. So I've heard both. I don't really know. Um, I played the matchup once as Ergot. It wasn't fun, but I was also lagging. I was lagging and having internet issues, so. I don't know if I completely count that game. But it seemed like it was still an annoying matchup to me. Um, I haven't played... We'll see how Mord goes into it. I haven't played Mord into it. Only my second time playing versus it in lane as well. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, he does seem... He definitely does seem pretty decent to me. I don't know. He seems more annoying than anything, you know? Like, I wouldn't really call him broken. Like, he's not going to, like, carry the game and, like, take over. But he's just kind of, like, hard to kill and kind of annoying with the passive. Especially as Ergot. Okay, that skin is really hard to see the passive, actually. What skin is that? Oh, wow, it's base skin. That is actually pay to win. Well, I guess you don't even have to pay. You just win. I don't want to trade too much early. As usual with Mordekaiser, level 1 is trash. He went for the E start, interesting. So I know in this matchup, my E will take off his passive. And I have to do that if I want to ulti him. Like, I can't ulti if he has passive up. As far as I'm aware. But Mordekaiser does really good into tanks, so I should be able to just win later anyway. Just because I'm kind of a tank counter. Oh, is Marcus top? I'm in not a super good spot to roam here. Our mid is also backed. If our mid comes over, I'm down. That double shield, man. Hell yeah. Nice job. I still got an assist on that Mundo, too. I'm kind of surprised. I feel like that timer was a while. He does have TP. We'll bait that out here. Hopefully he just lets me go for kind of a greedy recall here. You know, I could get anti-heal. Hmm, I probably should get that actually. Let's just get that right now. And then I'll go straight into Rift. That sounds good. I can hold TP here. He's pushing the wave. I'm okay with this. Zozo, thank you for the Twitch Prime, dude. Thank you for the support, man. Stream is looking much better now. Yeah, dude, I had to. Uh, I had to change my server, like the OBS server. But we're good now. We're finally good. Hopefully. Oh, you can step on his passive. Okay, that's good to know. So that's like a poppy, poppy shield thing. Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like I did do that last game. I guess I might as well just throw E's out and like try to get a shield off.
Oh. Thought I had my Q. That E is the annoying thing to play around. This guy's so much better with the E than the last guy that I played against. He's trying to bait me in. Um, I don't know how the OBS server thing works, but whenever you stream, you're streaming to a server. So I had it on the auto, to where it just auto finds a server to stream off of. And changing the server to one that's more near me seemed to fix the problem. I don't really know exactly how it works, but that is definitely what the problem was. Because after I did that, we were good to go. I could definitely be farming a little bit better this game. Why would you flash? Still gonna kill you. Wait for him to here. Nice, we get the leeching layer off this back. That's actually big. I guess I'll stay. Caitlyn's going top. We'll push one more. Got the Draven Flash. Got his heal there too, I believe. Should probably swap back, guys. Yeah, let's swap back here. I definitely want to be against Mundo right now. I feel like my build is super good versus him right now. So he's going for a Phage. What is he building? That's either Gore Drinker or Sundeer? Is it Sundeer? Yeah, he might be going Sundeer then. Interesting. Oh yeah, so you can just step on the passive. That's kind of nice. What exactly does that passive do for him? I know it heals him. Doesn't it like reduce his passive cooldown as well? I know it does something else. Fifteen seconds? Holy moly, that's actually pretty good. Wow, that passive is already back. Ah, it's really annoying, actually. I can't EQ combo. something we might be able to just dive he does have ulti oh, he probably had the lee warded it's fine we still get a plate off it honestly this matchup isn't feeling too bad it's definitely feeling better than playing ergot into mundo i'll tell you that You know, something to keep in mind, though, whenever you're playing versus, like, a newer champion or rework champion. Like, the person's knowledge also matters a lot. Like, this guy could be way better or way worse than the last Mundo I played against, you know? Because people are still trying to, like, figure out how to play him. So I feel like that's definitely something to take into account. That's why it's always hard versus new champs. Like, 
it's always hard to get a good reading. It's like, does he just not know what he's doing, or, or does he really know what he's doing, you know? It's like when Gwen came out. There were some Gwens that were just so bad, but it's like, they just didn't know what they were doing. Once I played against people that actually main Gwen, I was like, okay, yeah, this is OP. <laughs> this does not feel like a good matchup. Oh no, how did I mess that up? I think I flicked my cursor, he got so lucky. Oh man, he got so lucky. Mechanical air. Dude, the anti-heal just destroys him though. That was through his ulti. We'll still get some plates off it. Oh my god, I'm running to Nasty again, by the way. I really need to change that back to Alacrity. Keep forgetting to do that. Wow, is this triple play? Where is he? No! Alright, well I got enough for my riff, so it's definitely worth. We got triple play, so I mean that's a worth trade. That sucks though, I even got the isolated Q there. I angled my Q to where it, uh, it's actually really hard angle to where it doesn't hit the minions there, but also hits him. Really thought I would have it, have it if I did that. I got no death realm now. TP is still good. I stopped those guys from like all inning the dive. Which they probably would have. Yeah, this matchup is feeling good for sure. I don't even think I'm playing it as well as I could either. Mort is just like the ultimate tank buster though, I feel like. Especially once you get ripped, like. Champions just cannot compete with you. Oh, this guy went Gore Drinker, by the way. Interesting. I'm glad I rushed anti heal. Ah, oh, he has flash. Of course he does. All right, let's get Tabby's then. We get Dragon off that play. It's honestly kind of okay. Kindred Flash. Yeah, I timed, uh, man. I timed my Q with uh, the Death Realm ending there too. Because once the Death Realm ends, then his, uh, the Kindred ulti goes away, right? The only way he survives that is if he has Flash. Sadly, he did. <laughs> Yeah, it really is, Kaden. I'm a big fan of uh, Alacrity on Mord. Unless you absolutely need the Tenacity. Oh man, I should've queued. But uh, when you're playing against a tank especially, like having attack speed feels so good. Because you're just smacking them with autos. It's making the difference in these 1v1s, honestly. It's kind of crazy.
Hmm, where'd the Mundo go? I think he recalled in there. for a little rotation here. I feel like there's gonna be a fight. Everyone have flash, dude. <laughs> Holy moly. Alright, another flash down the tube. We'll take it. We should try to herald, probably. Yeah. Draven's really out of position. I feel like this Pike Lee Sin combo is just going crazy. Dude, we got so much Pike gold off that. I feel like we're just all rich off that play. 140. We got a little bit of time here. Oh, dude, wait. It was the Silas with the Pike ult. Okay, I see. Wait, that's crazy. I'm so out of it. I thought we had the pike this game. I haven't been paying attention to my bot lane. <laughs> yeah, he went crazy there, man. Get, uh, I'm gonna sell this. Dude, I stole my control word in river somehow. That's crazy. Rampage. Nah, I'm gonna get a cosmic drive. We need the CDR this game for sure. Cosmic drive into Rylize is probably what I'm gonna do here. for drag. Which I kind of don't think they'll need. I doubt they're going to contest. Probably gonna try to make a play top side. Wait, what? How did I miss time that? Oh, on Urga, I'll be trying out a little bit of Eclipse. A little bit of Eclipse and Gore Drinker, probably. Maybe a little bit of sun deer, we'll see. Alright, 
our power spiked. Let's try to team fight. The one shot? Holy moly. Should have probably ulted Draven. I guess we got the stat steal though, it's kinda nice. I welcome you. This is so greedy. <laughs> Let's not do that. Feeling a little bit sketchy, guys. Yo, Sphinxter Cowboy. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, dude. Interesting name. I don't think we want to fight, dudes. I got Death Realm on five. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. Death Realm coming up right in time. The BM. I do not approve. <laughs> That's deserved. Oh my god, dude, imagine we end up losing this game. Alright, let's get a stopwatch for this last fight. Dude, how bad would the Lee Sin feel if we ended up Lee Sin? <laughs> Limit testing, sure. I just noticed both of the champions that I play are really good into Kindred. Like with Urgot, you just pull people out of ulti. And with Mordekaiser, you just Death Realm. They're actually so good. What the heck is that? Is that like part of Kindred? Just chilling? Isn't that like the wolf thing? Huh, okay. That's weird. Just vibing. Oh, he's got the pike ulti, guys. Give me those stats. That dance, dude, that's so cool. GG. Uh, Mordekaiser definitely feeling better than, definitely feeling better than Ergot into Mundo, 100%. 
I mean, like I said, I only played the Ergot vs. Mundo once, but... And I've only played this once as well, so small sample size, but... Yeah, definitely, definitely felt better there. Even in that 1v1 where he got me, like, I messed up and it was so close. And I greeted for three plates. So, yeah. Definitely feels like a good matchup.